Alright guys, it is the bye week. We're getting into it. We're coming into this week three and five. Our main focus, our central focus of everything is to make this team better so we can at least fight for that uh, middle of the road 8-8 eight and eight record. Because the way it's going right now, we're going to end up anywhere between 5-11 and 11 to 7-9. and nine. And I definitely, definitely want something better than a 7-9. and nine. So we're definitely going to try to do however we can. So let's get into this. We're going to upgrade Darnell Savage. He's going to go from a 70 up to a 71. Now, along with this, I asked you guys to put down in the comments below uh, which players exactly were going to be our offensive and defensive uh, players of the first half of the season. But before we do that, let me get into this. Because Drew hasn't been playing that well, these are the main four quarterbacks that I am thinking about drafting next year. Also, in case Justice doesn't finish the season properly, we are looking at Jonathan Taylor and uh, Travis Atini. Uh, Jerry Judy, we're definitely going to be adding on to our receiving core. It's going to take pressure off of everybody else. I don't really think we need a tight end. We have Noah, but we can always and definitely need to upgrade this outline. As you can see, most of our prospects are either going to be on the left tackle side that we're going to have to shoot over to another position, or it's going to be right tackle. Those are going to be the two major focuses of this draft. And of course, we have our defensive line already set, so we don't need to worry about that. We have our left outside linebacker. We have our right outside linebacker. We might need an extra middle linebacker, depending on how Kendall finishes up his first season. The way it's going right now, though, it's looking really, really good in how he is developing. Um, I'm happy with it. I hope you guys are happy with it. Also, the guy has an unbelievable amount of interceptions for a middle linebacker this far in the season. I mean, you're literally only one or two behind our team leader, which is another rookie, David Long. And those are all the people that we've... And we definitely need a kicker and a punter because both of them only have 76 kick power. So that is what we're looking at as far as who we're thinking about drafting in the upcoming draft. Now, let me actually show you guys who we actually decided to make our offensive and defensive MVPs of the first half of the season. I'm going to show you why I made this decision. I'm going to explain it to you. Hopefully you guys agree with me. If not, eh, we can work on it next time. But let me just show you. So now initially I thought definitely it's going to be Drew. He's going to be the one that needs the most work. But then I thought about it. Justice is actually our MVP of the offense. So when I checked him out, he's actually done a little bit of progression. He went from a 74 overall with the one point boost to a 75 overall. Can't beat that. All right, so now let's go through a little bit here on the defense. Now, as you can see, Kendall is actually leading as far as the lower level rookies that we have. Uh, he has the second most amount of tackles. He has, I believe, the second most amount of, uh, no, third most amount of interceptions. And he had, I believe it's one, maybe two uh, sacks. Also, you have David, who is the fourth highest tackles, but the most interceptions on the team. So, here's what I decided, guys. Like, legit. Because it basically evens out. They're both of a lower level. So, 
we're going to give it to both of them. We're going to give one to Kendall, which will take him from a 73 overall up to a 74. Not bad considering he started at 70 at the beginning of the season. And we're going to give it to our man David because, I mean, honestly, four interceptions in the first eight games of the season, you can't go... You can't get better than that, honestly, guys. Unless, of course, it's some record-breaking season. But then again, he's only a rookie. So, we've now upgraded Justice, Kendall, and David. And honestly, I think this is going to help us out a lot. So there you have it. Starting on Monday, we're going to get into the second half of the season. We're going to start with the 49ers and work our way down. I cannot wait. Have a good weekend, guys.